Welcome to another video on Auckland's wild west coast. My target species was once again the mighty yellowtail kingfish. As you can see the bar was pretty much a non-event with a forecast swell of under one meter but I had a little bit of southwesterly wind to deal with. Which was just enough to put an annoying chop on the ocean making for an uncomfortable ride. I trolled a soft bait around to once again pick up a few life baits. This time I was struggling to get small kawai though as they all seemed to be large fish. A large kingfish will gulp down one of these fish without a problem, but my live bait tank is only large enough to house smaller fish. I caught one kaiawai that was small enough to put in the live bait tank and kept a couple of larger ones for snapper bait before my other plans failed. These fish don't have a very good reputation as eating fish here in New Zealand, but personally I think there is nothing wrong with them, and I'll be eating these suckers if I can't catch anything else. I've been taking my stick bait rod out with me every trip lately in hopes of getting my first legal kingfish on top water. In one of my kingfish spots, the fish like to hold in only 5 metres of water, so I think it's only a matter of time before I catch one if I keep trying. Sometimes with fishing, persistence can be the difference. Unfortunately, once again, today was not my day. Here you can see the 5 meter high point on this reef. The fish don't always show up on the sounder because of how shallow the water is, so you have to be right on top of them. But they will usually be sitting on the upcurrent side of this point. Lining myself up to drift over the spot had me straight into an undersized kingfish. I also fished a life bait for a while but had no takers, so I decided to bash my way up through the trop and try a deeper spot. Upon arriving at the next spot, the sounder lit up. I had found the mother load of kingfish. Unfortunately for me, it seemed like every one of these fish were also undersized. Small kingfish can be a problem at this time of year, but I guess it shows that the fishery is in good health. Every drop of the jig was producing fish after fish. You can see here on the sounder how the large school of kingfish was hovering underneath the jet ski. After several hours of jigging and live baiting, I was about ready to call it a day and head home. I thought I may as well give it one last try at the first spot that I was fishing at in the morning. Maybe some larger fish had turned up by now. 
As you can see, mechanical jigging in only 8 metres of water can require a slightly different style to give the jig more time to be seen by any fish before it's already at the surface. I wasn't expecting to hook up in such shallow water, but of course the unexpected happened and it was locked drags and hold on to keep the fish from busting me off on the reef below. Check out the injury this fish had. One of its gill rakes had been broken off at the end and was hanging out but had healed over completely. It's amazing how a fish can survive such an injury like this and go on to live a normal life. Feel free to watch some of my other videos and please remember to subscribe if you want to see more.